This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2012 Ford F550. Regular cab, obviously utility bed, dual rear wheel. Um, it's a 6.7 turbo diesel. It's two-wheel drive. It's an XL. Has 197,548 miles. It was a, uh, a vehicle that belonged to U-Haul for its entire life. It was a one-owner U-Haul vehicle. Obviously, that means it was serviced like crazy. I'll be showing you the Carfax in a minute. Um, bought it from them. It used to be one of those trucks where it had the, I'll show you a picture of what it looked like before, where it had a big rack that went over the roof with a winch on it and it would pull, you could pull vehicles up on the roof of this thing and uh, transport them. Uh, it's what they used to go save vehicles that were broken. Um, anyway, um, Carfax shows it had an accident 420 of 20. April 20th of 2020, but it wasn't damaged. So in other words, it probably ran somebody off the road, but wasn't damaged. Um, it also showed fire damage. Um, I think it was 3, uh, 27 of 18. And three days later, it was uh, getting service at Riverside Ford, and then it was back in action, and they kept it. So uh, I called U-Haul, and they said they weren't sure, but one of the guys remembered that there was uh, inside this box right here there's a, inverters power inverters and battery boxes and stuff and he said we think we had a that this is the one that one of these inverters had a little fire in it and it was like put out in two seconds uh and it might have actually happened at the ford dealer when they were screwing around with it um anyway obviously no big deal because it was you know three days after it happened it was getting an oil change and was back on the road um, but my job in these videos is not to tell you what, what we want you to know it's just to tell you what actually happened all right um, but uh, runs and drives like brand new um, serviced really well um, when we got it here it had a check engine light for an EGT which is an emission gas temp sensor there's four of them on this and one of them was bad so we sent it to monsoon uh, our shop and they did an EGT, one of those sensors. They did an oil change, uh, wiper blades, and an air filter. And then we sent it to detail. Runs and drives, fantastic. I've driven this across town, which is about 10 miles each way to our shop. And uh, runs and drives great. Really easy to drive this truck. Although it's large, so be careful. <laughs> it's gonna win every fight. Um, I did check the, uh, we do have a key for the locks and it works on every single lock on this bed. Okay. Bunch of little, little boxes like this in the back. This is a cool truck. There's a guy in uh, Mexico that bought a very similar truck to this from us. Um, and I would say that you're probably in a race with him. He asked us to call him first when we got another one of these things, but we're not gonna. Uh, we're gonna let everyone else have a shot at it. And, you know, a week or two if he doesn't call us, we will uh, let him know that it's online and then it'll probably be gone. So you probably got about a week, maybe two weeks to buy this thing. Um, our prices are very fair. I'll explain to you why they're so fair. People think they're suspiciously low. They're suspiciously low for a good reason. We don't have the overhead everyone else has. 197,562 miles are on it right now. Under the hood here. Make sure my door locks are unlocked. There we go. I locked myself out of a car the other day during a video. That was not fun. All right. Okay. First of all, you want to see those Ford stamp. So you got an original fender. Obviously, that matters. Motor's in great shape. 
almost no blow by at all. That's beautiful. Okay. We have the stickers on the hood, so you got the original hood. And you have passenger fenders original. show you some paperwork here so you can see what I'm talking about here let's see let's do the window first up and down door locks okay you got a bunch of manuals in here I don't know what these are for there must have been more locks on this thing maybe it was the locks for that uh, rack that put cars on the on the roof but uh, that's all that stuff all right first of all you'll be able to see all this stuff in the ad we can click on the links for this stuff. This is the monsoon invoice. There's the date of it. Uh, oil change, sensor, which is the EGT, air filter, wiper blades. Uh, that was $365.90. Here are the parts. They had the filter and the oil there. They're a dealer for Molly. So they had that. This is a tube assembly, um, air filter. Like I, like I said, all this stuff will be in the ad um, that you can click on. Anyway, this is what the trucks look like when they are uh, when they have the ro uh, deal on the roof. See the winch up here? So you, they have ramps up here and they drive them up on the truck. There's the winch down here and the cable feeds up through the top. So that's what was on this truck before. All right, here is the uh, Carfax, okay? Let's see, accidents reported 424, 20 vehicle not damaged, fire damage, that was reported 327 of 18. On 331 of 18, it was getting serviced at the Ford dealer and released. Um, U-Haul says that, they, as they recall, an inverter in the cabinet had a small fire, which would be fine, it's in the cabinet. Um, but they reported it to insurance so they could get paid. So it's at Raceway Ford being serviced. Lots of great services at Raceway Ford. By the way, that's a huge Ford dealership in Riverside. Let's see. It looks like it's going really consistently. Let's see. Then we go to, here we go. 327 of 18, damage reported, fire damage reported. 331 of 18, Riverside Ford. Maintenance, oil filter, fuel filter, fluids checked, tire condition, pressure checked, and it's back on the road. They didn't sell it. The insurance company didn't take it back. Um, it was very minor. But we include everything, uh, good and bad news, and so that way we don't get yelled at. I don't like getting yelled at. All right, um, let's see. And here's the other one, 424, damage report. Vehicle was not damaged, accident reported. So this guy probably scared the crap out of someone and ran them into a sign or something. And that was the end of that. Anyway, here's our service of 218 at Monsoon. When we sent it over there. They're an excellent shop. If you need any work done in Tucson, uh, especially diesel. Um, or really high-end vehicles, Lamborghinis even, go there. They're really good. All right. All right. This is a cool truck. Like, for race cars, this would be a really cool truck to have for race cars. Put that rack back on the roof. I'm sure that they're around. Here's the window. Window. Door locks. This thing runs great, too. I like this truck a lot. Out, in, up, and down. Those windows move fast, the mirrors move fast too, so that means that they must have replaced them recently. They don't usually run that well at 200,000 miles. They're usually a lot slower. So I would guess, and it is a guess, I'm not saying they did, but at some point they replaced the mirrors because they don't run like that. All right, let's uh, test the lights and the blinkers. All right, so you got headlights going, headlights going. Blinker on the left side, blinker on the mirror. Blinker left, running lights on. Now we're gonna turn the uh, 
Let's go to, let's see, a right turn now. All right, so we should have running lights here. We do. Blinker there. Blinker here. Blinker there. This is a pretty truck. I like this truck a lot. Super dry underneath too. Which is not common. Okay. Right, let me turn that blinker off. And turn the headlights off. Get a seatbelt on. 59 degrees. It's a little brisk today. It's supposed to, believe it or not, it might snow on Wednesday, which I don't believe. You know, running your dances. Radio works great. MP3 capable, CD player. They obviously bought this so people could also rent it because normally they don't put this nice stuff in a work truck for their shop. All right. Let's see, let's try the heater first. That matters more. Let's see, we have, there's your, uh, right here. That's your uh, cruise control on and off, on, off, right? There's tow on and off. Let's see, what else we got going on here? Let's see, wait a second. Oh, windshield wiper, there you go. All right. And it's already hot in here, so I'm gonna turn the air conditioning on fan down here there's all your trailer stuff going on there center console looks good cup holders it's like an auxiliary plug right here I think that's what that might be power plug la, la, la. all right let's go for a ride first of all I'm gonna Drive it out the door here. And put it in reverse, just so you can see it go in reverse. There's reverse. Okay. All right. If you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, uh, you will pay the following. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our state tax of 2.7%, and a $250 dock fee. By the way, we're testing this road, uh, this this truck on this road, which is the worst road in Tucson. We're literally in the middle of Tucson and we're four wheeling down a paved road. Guess which party runs Tucson? Anyway, back to the truck. Um, if you come here, you'll pay your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Um, no tax, no dock fee, nothing. Once we receive full payment, we'll fill out the title uh, with your name or your company's name and address. We will uh, scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. We would scan in the envelope we mail it in. Um, you will have the truck shipped to you. The title will be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up with the truck. Um, you'll just take the uh, title you have and the uh, truck to your motor vehicles and get plates. If you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. Because it's a big truck, you're going to have to, uh, have to uh, move quickly to get it quickly. All right. If you need help with shipping, especially on this one, let me know um, so I can, uh, I can help you. If you're good at doing it yourself, you're welcome to do it yourself. Um, but if you need help or you're a little unsure, it, use me because... This one could be interesting, all right? Not necessarily a lot more money, but it's how to get somebody to pick up something this large. That's the, that's the trick, okay? Um, what else? Uh, deposit, deposit's $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please get your deposit in, okay? Uh, pretty rare truck. It's gonna be very well priced. Uh, for the following reason. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have uh, attendants serving scones and lattes and a game room for the kids. We don't have any of that crap, okay? Um, because of that, because we're not paying sales commissions and stuff, our prices are a lot lower, 
okay? We don't need to make a pound of money. What we need to do is move cars quickly. There's just two of us here, and we can't have cars piling up, okay? So that benefits you, and it benefits us too. Uh, we have happy people who buy vehicles a lot cheaper. There's only one thing that is required from our buyers. That's this, I'll explain it. At the new car dealership, on their used car properties, when they sell you a vehicle, they include five to seven hundred dollars in the price of the vehicle for um, future repairs. In other words, if you buy it from them, you paid a fortune, it breaks, you're going to be pissed, you're going to want it fixed, so they'll fix it because yeah, and they already made you pay for the repairs when you bought it. Okay, um, we don't do that up front. We tell you everything about the vehicle, everything in the Carfax, everything that we know about it, um, everything that we've done to it. Even if there's stuff that we didn't do to it that needs, we will tell you, okay? Um, in exchange for that, you have to be the owner on day one, okay? We're not going to write you a check for a broken radio knob or, you know, the air conditioning's not cold enough and we need to get blah, blah, blah. It's your vehicle. You saved a lot of money buying from us, so please make sure that you know that on day one you're the owner. If that if that is the case and you understand that, you're going to make a hell of a buy. If you think for some reason that you're going to be able to call wheel, you know, in here and say we need, uh, I don't know, who knows? We need a knob for the AC because that's stripped or something, or this this doesn't work right, or this doesn't work right, or something. That's not going to happen. We're not going to write you a check. If you need that reassurance, you have to go buy, you have to go pay a couple of three or $4,000 more for this truck, and they will do that for you, okay? All we're doing is giving you that savings up front. Uh, we're giving you a lot of truth, a lot of uh, facts that they are afraid to give you, because to get that extra three or $4,000, they can't tell you what we're telling you, okay? That's the truth, they can't. So. That's the tough love part. The good news is, this is a badass truck. Really nice truck. Super nice truck. Look at the interior of this thing. It's like nobody's been in it. It's got 197,000 on it. I mean, they took they took excellent care of this truck. Um, the air is ice cold. Like, too cold. That can go off. Um, nice truck. All right, thank you for your time.